Let's talk about why we even travel full time. So we travel full time because we're musicians, we play shows. And so if you play shows all around the country, it doesn't make sense to pay for rent for a place you're never at, hence the bus. So we need the bus so that we can travel and make music full time. We take our kids obviously with us. So saying that, we travel with a nanny full time who watches our kids and we used to play cover band shows all the time, four hour cover gigs. We took like 14 days off a year. I mean, we were really working hard. Then we decided when we were pregnant with Sawyer that we couldn't do that anymore. And so we needed to think of something different. So house concerts became the new thing for us to do. And so we fell in love with doing house concerts. They're only an hour. They're original music usually. It's just so fun, life-giving, and we're only away from our kids for about an hour. So that's the reason we travel full time is because of our music. That's our job. So we've got to be on the road. So one of the things we love to do is just adventure, go out and do things. And today we're going to the beach. So yeah, we live in a bus, but we go outside all the time. We hang out in people's houses. Um, here's one of the things that we get to do. And I'm talking every day we go out and we do stuff. Another thing that we do often is stay in people's houses. So we do house concerts a lot or we're visiting friends and family. So our kids have all these different places where they get to run around and stretch their legs, even though the bus is a perfect place for that. I think you have to live in this kind of a situation to really understand what it's like. Because from the outside, it sounds really crazy, but it's not. We just happen to be at grandma and grandpa's house. So we're hanging out with them and our kids are loving it. And then sometimes we go to really cool restaurants. So are you sleeping? Hey. 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 And one of our favorite things to do is walk around RV parks and just walking in general. But our kids love being outside and we love taking them outside. So. Look at it, their backyard is huge. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay. The sun could go out, we're gonna be okay. If all the blue skies make too gray, we're gonna be okay. So we obviously travel a lot too, going from place to place, from show to show, but there's one thing we like to do specifically for our kids, and we book our shows around this formula specifically for our kids, is if we have to drive, we try to make it no more than three hours a day. And that's like a perfect time for them to take their naps. So they take their naps in our car while we drive. And so that's how that works. So we put the car seats in this car. Emily had this car before we were married and so it's been around forever. She drives this car behind me while I drive the bus. What do you think? Do you like that June bug? No, I listen to Three Little Pigs. You want to listen to Three Little Pigs? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now we want to talk for a quick second about what our future plans are. And we do have future plans. We're doing the whole Ramsey thing. If you don't know what that is, it's just uh, baby steps in getting financially stable in your life. And so by doing that, we're setting ourselves up and our kids and our future financially in a better situation. Um, is this making any sense? Um, yeah. Am I saying this right? I don't know, I wasn't listening. But anyway, we have a goal of buying property, probably in Missouri, we don't even know, but that's our plan currently. But our next year uh, to two year plan is to buy property, to put tiny homes all over it, create like a retreat center, because we have a standing gig at Silver Dollar City. So it's gonna be more of a home base for us where we're gonna be there for at least six months a year, on and off festivals throughout the year. And then we plan on traveling and touring in between those festivals. So our kids will have the travel and some kind of stability as well. So we're really excited for that. And for those that are, you know, curious about that part of our lives and what are we gonna do with our kids and when they get older, are they gonna to wanna to join sports teams and things like that? Well, we have a solution and that solution is our next year to two year plan is to have a home base where we're able to tour from. So that's our plan. That's what we're doing. All right, Sawyer, tell me, what's your favorite thing about bus life? Is that play with, is play with fun toys? Yeah. Is there a part of the bus that's your favorite? Which part's your favorite in the whole bus? The, the back of the bus, the playroom. The playroom? Yeah, the bedroom. Can you show us? What's your favorite thing to do back here? Play with the set of these and just try to cook this down. Here. Hey Juno, what's your favorite thing about bus life? Dog house? Can you show me? <laughs> Is that your favorite thing to do? Yeah. yeah. Is that fun? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! Is that like, if, <laughs> if it's like, like Marshall is a little heavy and you're using that. There you have it. If you have any other questions or any thoughts, please put them in the comments below and maybe we'll make a part two of this video because there's really so much that goes into this, like a lot, a lot, a lot. So feel free to comment below. Let us know what else you want to know. This will be just a part one video and I'm probably going to put that in the title as well, part one, because there's going to be inevitably so much more. Inevitably? Inevitably. There's going to be more. Keep tuned. Keep subscribe, like, follow, share, all of those things. We just like posting about this kind of stuff, so let us know.